Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a video that I've wanted to do for a couple of years. In honor of R Rory Gilmore, I am wearing a headband, which I borrowed from my daughter. Here's a question before we get into the challenge and the books. Can people of my age wear headbands? Because I feel like it's a younger person thing, but I really like headbands and I would like to start wearing them again, which I haven't done in like, you know, 10, 15 years. Can I do it? answer that question in the comments. Now onto the challenge. So over the course of the Gilmore Girls series, which I watched a lot of as it was coming out, um, Rory Gilmore was seen reading 339 books on screen. And you can find pictures of this all over. Lots of people have done this challenge via video. And the point here is to see how many of the books that she read that I have read. So apparently the Average is 51 out of 339, which gives 15%. As a reader, I would hope that I am higher than that, um, than, you know, like the average person, but I know she reads a lot of classics on the show, a lot of big books, a lot of books that just really aren't interesting to me. So we are going to give this a try. I will leave this website that I'm using linked below because it kind of tallies it all for you. And I am going to be getting my screen recording going. I'm waiting for a message from my son's friend's mom saying they're going to go sledding on the hill because it's supposed to be nice out today. That's probably going to come through as we're filming. So just giving a heads up now. So I'm going to get my screen recording going and we will see how many of these books I've read. Okay, I think we're good to go. So hopefully I get over 51 books. That's a lot of books. Um, let's start by the beginning here. 1984 by George Orwell. Yes, I have read that one. I have it on my shelf to prove that I've read it because I didn't like it. Adventures in H of Huckleberry Finn. No. Alice in Wonderland. I don't think so. I think I've started it, but I know the story with the movie and I'm not interested. Oh my goodness, this is not a good start. Angela's Ashes. I have read that one. It was terrible. Oh, Anna Karenina. That is one I plan on reading later this year. Anne Frank. Yes. Oh no. It's always scary when you get into a streak where there's um, not a whole lot going on. Anne Frank though. Uh, that's one I want my daughter to read soon. Oh dear. Babe. I didn't even know Babe was a book. I thought that was just a movie. The Bell Jar. Yes, I have. Read it. Unhauled it. Not a fan. Okay. Oh man, some of these are on my TBR shelf here, on my classics shelf. I need to read more of them. Charlotte's Web. That's a really good one. Uh, that's one of my favorite novels to read aloud to my kids when they're like four. That's like the first read aloud. Oh, some Stephen King. Interesting. No, I haven't read any yet though. A Christmas Carol. Yes. That's a nice quick read. Oh, The Code of Wooster's P.G. Woodhouse. That'd be interesting, but no, I've only read short stories. She was a, a very widely read person. Oh, more that are on my list. The Count of Monte Cristo. I want to get too soon. More Stephen King. David Copperfield. Whew, that's on my shelf, but it's a big one. Devil in the White City. I have that one sitting over in there, but I haven't read it yet. Don Quixote. Nope. Yes, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I've read that one. Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. No, I've read some of them, but not the complete ones. Um, oh, Eloise. Yes. Not a fan of that book, but yeah, it's a picture book, so that's helpful. Emma. I'm currently reading it, and I have read it before, so that counts. I'm at 9 out of 339 so far. Encyclopedia Brown. Yes, I have read that. Interesting. When was she reading these children's books? That's what I would like to know. Oh, for Fahrenheit 451 is one I would like to read soon as well. 
Fellowship of the Ring. Read that one. Fiddler on the Roof. I didn't know that was a book. That's another one. Watched the movie. We watched it in grade five in school, but I don't remember much. Um, the Five People You Meet in Heaven. No, I've read another one by this author, but I don't think it was that one. No, it was Tuesdays with Maury. That one. Ooh. Frankenstein. Frankenstein is another one that like I've read, but I would like to reread because I read it in university. I took an English class that was six weeks long. We had 12 full length novels to do. I was working a full time job, starting photography business. There was a lot going on. Um, so I don't remember a whole lot. Freaky Friday also didn't know that was a book. Uh, yikes. Goldilocks and the Three Bears, um, maybe not this specific one, but I've definitely read some Goldilocks and the Three Bears, so we're counting that one. Gone with the Wind, <laughs> talked about that in my TBR, that's sitting up on my shelf there. Maybe this year. Well, she's read a decent amount of Judy Bloom. Nope. Great Expectations, oh, that's a book that I've started twice and never finished. Harry Potter, yes. More Harry Potter, yes. Read all of those. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my goodness. This is a very interesting assortment of books. The, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, yes. When I was um, working, before I was a teacher, I was working as an educational assistant and the kid, one of the kids I worked with, he didn't talk much. He was autistic, yeah, but he could quote the entire How the Grinch Stole Christmas really well. Okay, more that I would like to read, but have not read. Jane Eyre. I'm 17 books, I'm at 5%. Oh, The Joy Luck Club, that's interesting. That one I just hauled fairly recently. It is on my shelf, but I haven't read it yet. D.H. Mm. Lawrence. I've read some, but not that. Leaves of Grass, I've heard lots of things about, but haven't read. Oh, Life of Pi. Yes. Interesting book, I must say. I read it because, I don't remember exactly, but the author, I think, currently lives in Saskatoon. So it was like reading something that is set or the author lives around me. Um, interesting book, though. Little Dorrit. No, I don't think so. Little Women, I have. The Lottery. Yes, favorite Shirley Jackson. Macbeth, definitely read in high school. Don't really plan on reading again. Um... Interesting. Oh, Moby Dick has another one. I got a I got a bunch of long classics that I would like to read. Interesting that she read some that were a little bit more modern for the times, and then just a wide assortment of books here. My Sister's Keeper. I did read that in high school. And it's the only one I've read by that author, but I now have like one or two more of hers on my shelf. I'm sitting at 6%. It's not bad. The new way things work. I, okay, I've read some of that book, We Own It. Or I, maybe the newer one is The Way Things Work Now. Um, but I haven't like read it all the way through. New Poems of Emily Dickinson. I am currently reading her complete collection. So, I won't count that. Northanger Abbey. Oh, I got a star. I'm up to two stars. 7%. Uh, I haven't read any John Steinbeck. Works and Crake. Yes, unfortunately, I have read that one. That was for that university class, and I've like vowed to never read any more Margaret Atwood as a result. So, don't recommend. Outsiders, another one sitting on my shelf. Picture of Dorian Gray, I read that one last year. It's one of my classics I want to read before I die. Pride and 
Prejudice, read that one a few times. I have no idea how I'm gonna do here. I'm only, I'm at 26%, which is about halfway if I wanna get to kind of the average. Uh, I think people are lying when they say they've read. I mean, who's the average person that's taking this test? Are they people that have read a lot? Or are they just the average person that are just clicking buttons? Now, Rapunzel. Um, I've read some Rapunzel. I'll check that one. The Raven and Other Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Once again, I've like read some of his. I've read The Raven, uh, but I don't know this specific edition, what's all included. So I won't check it. Rebecca, yes. Interesting book. The Red Tent, I just unhauled that one recently. Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. This is one that I always get confused with Sarah Plain and Tall for some reason, the title. I've read Sarah Plain and Tall. I don't think I've read Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. Uh, the Return of the King I've read. More books I haven't read. A Room of One's Own. That one is on my shelf, one I would like to read. She's got a lot of Europe guides. No, no. Oh, The Secret Life of Bees. I started it and DNF'd it because I was bored. Uh, Sense and Sensibility. Oh, she's got like all the Jane Austen on here, so that's helpful for my list. And oh, another Stephen King, Shane. What is that even? I don't think Rory really would have read this book. Did they just have fun like going to the thrift store and picking out random books for her to hold? I want to know whose job that was. Oh, okay. I have two pages left and I'm only at 30. So this is not doing so well. Snow White and Red Rose. No, but I've read the uh, retelling of that. I can't think what it's called. Snow and Rose, I think it's called. Oh dear, we're getting close to the end. The Story of My Life by Helen Keller. I've read some Helen Keller, but I don't know if it was this specific one. Stiff is an interesting book. Not like I haven't read it, but it's an interesting concept. Oh, uh, yeah, Stuart Little. I've read that one. This is, this is getting too close to the end here. I'm kind of Tale of Two Cities. Read it. It's... I suffered through it. I'm not a Dickens fan, but I still want to read all of his books. To Kill a Mockingbird, I've read. That was one of the books we had to read in school. A Tree Grows in Bo Brooklyn is one that I want to read. I have it on my list. Need to read eventually. Tuesdays with Maury's on here. Sweet. Okay, this is helpful. Except that we're already on you. Uncle Tom's Cabin, another book I've started twice. I haven't finished. Hope to. Only one page left. This is not going well. Vanity Fair, also sitting on my TBR shelf. Oh dear. Bambi. That's a book? Hmm. Let me check off at least another one. Oh, the Wonderful Wizard of Oz. I've read that one. Wuthering Heights. I've read that one. I'm up to three stars. 11%. 36 books. And that's it. Oh no, that's all. So out of all of these books, there's quite a few on my TBR, but I've read 36 out of 339, which is 11%. Now, I want to know if, if the average person said they'd read 51 of these books, did they come back and, like if they were doing it honestly, did they do a challenge where they were trying to read as many of these books as they possibly could? Because I read more than the average person, maybe not like, I mean, I'm not huge into classics, but I would have thought that as a reader, I would have done better than the average. Really, only 11%, 36 books. Anyway, I'm curious, if you guys want to do this, I'm gonna leave this linked below and tell me what your percentage is. I'm very curious. And what do you think? Do you think the average person is lying? I just feel like, surely it wasn't. The average person hasn't really read that many books. Maybe I'm just trying to make my, I'm just trying to make myself feel better, I think. I have to say, I'm actually very surprised there was no like Elizabeth Gaskell on there. There's, there's a lot of good classics that weren't on the list. And there wasn't much in the way of like science fiction, like Dune. 
out of the silent planet. I feel like I, I want to go back in time and be that person that is picking out these books for Rory Gilmer. And I would put in her hands a lot of really good books that, because now people are going to go read these books and a bunch of them, at least the ones that I've read, are terrible. And some of the other ones look like they're probably terrible. Uh, I, I want to have that as my job. That's, that's a dream job. Um, yeah, so go ahead and do the challenge. Let me know. Headbands. What should we do with them? Uh, wear them or just allow the younger kids to wear them. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you.